I'm Chase. And I'm Timothy. And this is Customer Service. How are we doing? <laughs> Good morning. Good early it's afternoon. afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how are you? Good, baby. We're back at it. This doesn't, and because we did the the Tokyo one last time, it almost feels like we haven't done one in a while. It does feel like it's been a minute since we've sat I mean, we did that one, but it felt like we were talking about something that happened in the it past. Did, yeah. It did. It was like yeah. a canned episode, you know, so it yeah. feels like it's its own. It's like that Atlanta episode where he's dressed up as Michael Jackson. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What Another was that guy's name? I don't know. We're not I'm not going to, I'm not yeah. going to, there's no chance I'll think of it, but I remember you telling me like, man. Wait, just wait till you get to that episode. It's it would be it was so much better when you weren't prepared for it when you were like, "What is what this?" You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is so weird. Did you ever see the leftovers, Brando? Did you ever watch? I the watched leftovers? like the first. If there was eight episodes, I watched six. Okay, and then I didn't okay. finish, which is a little bit. I'm not how, even how sure it. if it was three seasons. I know it was at least two, but I would say three or four. Anyway, in in terms of canned episodes, then oh, we I de- if there's more seasons, then no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I watched the first part of this i think it's season, season three i think there's three seasons three or four I anyway used to sell season to that three, guy. I used to sell uh, two. boots to justin thoreau though handsome fella yeah he smokes a cigarette in a cool way he's like a he's like a nice he was like a nice-ish guy but he's you know he's he's a celebrity yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah yeah what do you mean what does he do with the cigarette does he well there's and this was like, my move you see you kind of keep it under uh-huh. because i was very yeah. i didn't want people to know i did it so it was like a yeah. way to hide it that's what he did too he he held yeah. it between like his index mm-hmm. and thumb but the burnt end was actually in yeah, his palm, in your palm. Make sure your hands and i dead. and i remember that was the first time i saw somebody smoke a cig like that and i was like man is that fucking cool but i believe that it's the same situation he was doing it because he was what he was doing he's putting cigarettes out on his run or something and then mm. he would go smoke a cig mm. in the middle of his run and then run back but it's a buck anyway, move. season three, there's a canned episode, and that was the first time I understood what canned episode meant. And if you haven't watched Leftovers, it's worth it just to watch this episode. It's, I think yeah. it came into people's heads when that, or like when people started talking about it, was that episode of Breaking Bad with the fly and the thing. Yeah. It's like it's totally its own thing. Where, yeah, where it has its yeah. own story within it, this. Yeah, and it usually tells something bigger about the plot, but it's kind of a throwaway in, in the same breath. Dude, I really, really miss watching Breaking Bad and then... Obviously, Better Call Saul. That's a good. I'll say. I'll tell you what, though. That's one of those few where Better Call Saul was like an afterthought. They're like, listen, if we can capitalize on some of this money, let's let's keep it rolling. Better Call Saul is better tenfold. You know, my slow deal. burn. I just don't baby. like. I hate the way those things look. Yeah, yeah. They no, just, I, no, yeah. You, it's a visual thing for you. They look like CSI Miami. Yeah, I, I really don't like when there's that much done. There was another. Like, I feel like remember when everyone was watching. Like, I think it was called. Oh, what was it? Narcos. Yeah. Same one where it's like first I was I, I watched for first ten minutes I was like nope if they aren't gonna change this like color, color correction that they've done <laughs> I am out yeah I just yeah. I like don't like it yeah. it feels so douchey for some reason sometimes it doesn't click I, that's a show I never got into I I, I probably started it twice but just never Did anyway how, how, how you doing how was your weekend we got we got more time to talk some shows here in a second anyway it's it's on, it's on my docket but okay how was your weekend. Uh, it was fine. Uh, didn't do a ton, you know. Went, you know, did our usual go to the farmers market, get mm-hmm. a coffee, mm-hmm. mill around there. Would you get to the farmers market? Because Abby's telling me there's a new hummus woman. Yeah, the new hummus is good. The old hummus still bangs though. The this old is, when she said really that, good. I was yeah. like, I hear you, but that's not something that needed it's, fixing. It's the different. old hummus is the best. It's just different. The yeah. the they have more interesting combinations than new ones. Sure. You know what I mean, that's where you get like a carrot harissa, and it's like, oh, that's interesting. which I would be down to try because yeah, I really like good. harissa. But um, um, but like it's like but the other ones is the the, the twins you know that yeah. do it that's really good. It was it's so good. We went to that one in the winter market. It was just some stoner kid, and I was like, "What kind of hummus you got, bro?" Copped it all. It's all it's all my favorite. Even just the regular tahini, you know, just the regular. I like the the cilantro jalapeno mm-hmm. one. That's very good. Mm-hmm. Now um, hummus does this thing for me, which I'm really showing all my cards here. But like, there are certain things that I don't have all that often because i like it too much yeah, 100%, hummus yeah. is one of those things and it's like it's like the same reason like the i don't get thing. myself a, a, a big two gallon thing of orange juice with pulp because i'm either going to drink it all or i'm going to treat it as an albatross and not finish it because i'm going to try to make it last as long as possible which these are just dumb games i play but i know you won't like this i do that with kombucha i'll get two of the big like the fuck the tankers the GTs? of the health aid yeah oh yeah health aid you like i'll do aid, i'll yeah. do a i'll do a tanker of the yeah. guava goddess too yeah dude. but like it's I know that no one else drinks it in the house, so it's just me taking like 30 sips a day out of the container. Yeah, you know because I mean? you got to stretch it and get all your money's worth, but then what ends up happening is it sits too fucking long and you don't finish it. So it's something that I struggle with, yeah. and I and in particular hummus, 
I'll, we'll just eat the whole container. I don't care. In fact, Whole Foods has a new hummus. Are you familiar with Little Sesame? Mm-mm. Really good. They did a collaboration with that uh, that Chili Crunch company, Jing. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm Fly talking about? Jing, Fly by Jing. Fly by Jing, yeah. They did a one that had the char- had the Jing Chili Crisp in it with pumpkin seed. It was stellar, though. Every time I see Fly by Jing, this is going to hit for nobody. There's going to be like one person mm-hmm. that hears this and likes it. But there's a song, uh, Fly by Night, I think is what it's called, from uh, Loma Prida, which is like a kind of like another, a grindcore yeah, yeah, band. Yeah. And that song is like just like you know glass shattering it's yeah. just fucking big and like yeah. hard it's like converge you know what i mean yeah so good they used to do this like i've seen them live a couple of times and they would do this like slow intro where they were it almost sounded like they were tuning uh-huh and then cool. he'd, he'd be like all right we're loma prita and then it just and it would just it was just like it would like you'd be like i gotta leave you know yeah, what i mean yeah. it's just like it's like it's so loud That's um sick. yeah they ruled so every time I, every time i see that i think of that band for yeah. no reason <laughs> you know just one of those yeah. um so anyway, we went to the farmers market. We went. To, we did a little okay. walking around to you know a thrift store. Bought a very large like print painting. You said of, it was two Italian greyhounds. Two Italian whippets. Yeah, <laughs> whippets sick. It's cool. They're like so sick. sitting on like a cliff. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like it's one of those like kind of like almost like Renaissance paintings. Yeah, yeah. But I just saw it and I was like, I love this. It's a and painting or a print. It's like a print of a painting. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. And it, it, but it's but it's big. You gonna you gonna like big. It's find like, it a frame? Take up this wall. I already, already it's already up. Oh, for it's real? Behind our bed. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Sick. It's cool. So oh, I got that fun. for like forty bucks. Yeah. I got like a one of the. I don't think you'll know what this is, but it's like a thing you hang on the wall so you so it like you can pull your cassette tapes in it. Hmm. So I did. I got one of those. Yeah, like a little organizer. Yeah, fucking three dollars, man. Dope, dope. I got we got some records, some random stuff. Um. Oh, we got these really beautiful like. Uh, Chinese, uh, they're like they're for holding tea. Hmm. And they're like what do you really mean for holding ornate. tea? They're like tea holders. That's they're like you know almost like a almost looks like a vase. Oh, yeah. and you'd put your loose leaf in there. I see. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, Speaking yeah. of which, really pretty. Shout out Dean, yeah. my baby. If you listen and love you, dog, sent to us a care package. Us being me and Michan, but there is treats for the stew in there as mm-hmm. well. Got some milk cookies out there, which are really good. I had a mango one, had a milk tea one. Um, but there's a, I got a sack of oolong tea in there. What's the Canadian situation? We got a coffee crisp in there? There's no coffee crisp Ugh, in it. No. I love them. <laughs> Dean, That's if you're, the if you're thing listening, Rondo loves house. coffee crisp. I love coffee crisp. I can't have candy though, yeah. in the house. It, it can't be in the house. Like That's like my one, like that's yeah. the real, the ice cream, anything else that uh-huh. people are normally crazy about, I don't care. No. I'll, milk, I'll milk a pint of ice cream for like two weeks. Really? Just little by little. Yeah. But um, not candy. Interesting. Too See, into it. did you you didn't bring home any candy from Japan, right? No, I I'm don't still, even. I'm I, still letting it roll. I'm, I'm truthfully, I'm trying to like stay away from that kind of stuff when I can, because I get like cravings for it. And I yeah. like, I can't control myself, dude. I'll, yeah. like, I'll wolf it down. Yeah. So it's like the Nate Bargatze bit, being like, I talked to my doctor, and it turns out I'm not supposed to eat a, a family sized <laughs> bag of Sour Patch Kids at yeah. 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, like I can't have that stuff. Yeah. I mean, the chocolate stuff is the worst for me, but any candy really, if it's around, will just. It's the same thing as the. Kombucha, man. It's just like I'll keep going in there and get yeah. one more little bit, one more little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's like a chore I can do while I walk around. Yeah, the house, no, I got you. Know? you. So, uh, speaking of ice cream, dude, we 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 uh, we could talk about my weekend a little bit, but we took it real easy, as you can imagine. <laughs> you know, I'm so – I will say I was dragging shocking. ass by the end of the last week, man. I was – I feel like I'm back on top of it, though. I don't feel underwater I want to see you this anymore. summer – get a little active. I think that's what you need to like balance your energy. Levels. All right. Well, you know while we're mean? at it, if anyone out there has a plug and you can get me some nice go fast roller skates, blades rather, me and Timothy want some blades. the most unusual thing to start with? Why don't you just go to, you go to a gym, you just do a little Not going to a gym. treadmill walking. Or Not going to a gym. Give me a reason why. Give me your dumb reason why. And get that mic away from your mouth. My <laughs> God. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to pay for a membership. I don't want to have to go to another place. I'm fine to do some activity in my house on the on the property. Jesus Christ! I'm not going to a gym, dude. Everything I hate that you shit. just said, I hated. Just I want I want <laughs> that to be clear. I know. I knew it when you. But <laughs> on my I'm, property, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to a gym. Not gonna. Unless I lived mm. in an apartment complex that had one in the unit, maybe. But I'm not doing it, dude. What is with you in leaving, going to any third location? I don't like it. Why? Um. You're not going to like this one, but I just feel like it, it, I just like, don't 
want to add, all right, well, here's another place I got to go every day. Oh, my God, Chase. What are you doing <laughs> that's getting in the way? Sleeping on your on your family, the family room bed? Like, what are you doing <laughs> that it's preventing you from, it's I, cutting into the eight hours a no, day you get to do that? No, I hear you. But in, in, all, in all honesty. It's an hour. You go, it's an hour. You get I to see you. different things. It's good for you to I be in different you. places. I hear you. We, there's I'm an, not there's saying a, you have to love a gym. I'm just yeah. saying you need to go somewhere else and do something. I, I, I need the I need the blades, it's good for bro. I need energy. the roller blades. It's good for your energy. I feel way better. I did not work out this morning because Gia doesn't have school today, mm-hmm. so we just didn't mm-hmm. like work it out. And uh, I feel like so much more like I'm dragging ass today than I normally do when I come. Really, in. my brain is up. It's engaged. It gets you ready going. To go. I pumped yeah. a little blood around. It doesn't even have to be anything crazy. You don't. Need- when I went and started at the gym, I was just like, listen, I'm just gonna do light jogs. I'll just try to do like – I'm going to try to get to like a solid hour of being able to do a light jog for an hour, and then I'll up speed. Run for an hour? Yeah. Well, I'll just – you got you to give yourself goals, you know what yeah. I mean, so that you actually have mm-hmm. something to work to. And the first little while I did it was hard as fuck, mm-hmm. and then it got easier. And then it got to the point where I would like – I would miss it if I wasn't doing it. Yeah. And then you start going, all right, what else do I want to work on? You know what I mean? I'm feeling yeah, good. I'm you. feeling Because now you feel comfortable in the space because you just you, – that's your whole thing. I know what this is. I know you. Mm-hmm. This is why it drives that, me nuts. This is why I ask the questions. You've nailed it. Yeah. You have a thing where it's like it's a whole new thing and you don't – I told you, if you go back and listen to the podcast early yeah, on, yeah. I said the reason I never I never wanted to start going to the gyms because I didn't like the idea that I didn't know the space. I didn't want to talk to anyone to figure out yeah, where things were. Yeah. You just have to you, – you get over that hump and then you're in it. And I also know you you get obsessive about things. Mm-hmm. So as soon as you're comfortable in that space, as a space that you're comfortable going to and it's fun for you, you're good to go. Well, that's But you that, go you yeah. go, you could go just walk on a treadmill. I'm telling you what, I'll give you this little walking program I go to, you're going to be like that's easy. It's not fucking easy. I saw an Instagram influencer girl, she posted her work and I'm like, I'll try to do her. She's in good shape. That'll, yeah. that'll be like hard but not too hard. I couldn't do it the first few times. Is it that like a high it's a high incline. It's a high speed. You got to stay on it because it kind of keeps ramping up. So it's like hard enough, but you're just walking. It's not going to kill you. You know what I mean? Like you can, you don't have to be in perfect shape to do it. And then, and then you hit the sauna after that. You trying to get in a, uh, you, uh, you hit the sauna after that yeah. for like 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come out, you've, you've sweated out all the junk. You feel good. Your skin starts getting a little glowy. You're good to go, bro. Hey, hey I, I hear you, and everything you're saying is true. I'm, you know I what know I'm going to do? True. Christmas comes around. I'm buying you a gym membership. <laughs> oh, do it for the one by my house. Has yeah, a rock climbing. Yeah, yeah, gym of course. I'm not trying to put you rock in like. Climbing, yeah, 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 yeah. Do they See, have machines and stuff? They have. A, it's a full climbing. service. I think you could swim. I believe they got a sauna. They Great. rock climbing indoor, outdoor. Amazing. Yoga the suburbs, studios. That's where the big gyms are. That's where the good shit is. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, and this one actually, the one by my house I'm thinking of, Al said that they used to do climbing competitions there. Point being is I'm not 100% against it, but you nailed it. I like to be comfortable in my space. In a perfect world, I had everything that I needed on my house, and when I wasn't here, I'd be there. That's the And I realize too, that's an unhealthy thing, but that's you, just... All you got to do is you you bop home, or you, even better for you, because you don't have like a kid and all this other yeah. shit you got to do. You just bring your gym shorts here. That's all you need. You don't have to shower there, because you can just go straight home. Yeah. You put on the gym shorts, you drive over okay. there, bang out an hour. You're gonna. I guarantee you, if you implement four days at an hour, you're going to feel a hundred times better than you do today, and you'll have way more energy. Yeah. No, Guaranteed. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. You're not like wrong, I'm like Rondo. a little off my flow, and I still go at least four times a week yeah. in some capacity. Yeah, and uh, I'm off my flow a little right now because the whole Japan thing, and then we were busy before. It was just yeah. really hard to yeah. get the four days in, but we still get most of them. And like, I I feel off my shit right now. Like my energy levels have been low lately because of mm-hmm. it. so. Like I'm telling you, it's like a it's a good it's a good thing for you, and I'm you can you can ease into it. Yeah. You can get also you get like they give you free trials at these places. You just sign up online. Yeah. You go and you do a free trial. You don't you just you just say I'm just testing out. You go check it out a little bit. Maybe you just go check it out a little bit. Don't even do anything the first day. That might have to be it. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed. Me and Michelle have talked about it. Talked about either getting up earlier, or doing doing little workouts. You said you wanted to get up earlier. How's it going? Bro, like I, I, I this is not this is not me just making an excuse. I want to say this. Last week I told I I was, you can ask my shit. I was texting her in Tokyo, be like, listen, I'm trying to get up early because I will say when we were on Japan mm-hmm. time, I was up at five thirty six at the latest, like mm-hmm. up cognizant. You know what I mean? And then by the time we went and did something, it's like, man, I've already had a whole time to yeah. like settle into the person I'm going to be that day. I like it. But that's last what I'm week I was dragging like, fucking if you, ass. If you implement also like a little light workout in that in that morning yeah. too, you're going to be feeling like you come in and you're like, I've already lived a part of my life. I'm re- my, I'm mentally ready to go. Yeah. My, yeah. my metabolism ready to go. I'm feeling good. Yeah, because I will say, bro, it's easy for me to stay in bed till eight thirty. Yeah, it's it's really easy. But uh, 
Anyway, that's that's a possibility. I Here's still want the, I still no want those what, blades though. I'm not no, like Well, I'm I'm fine with that too. <laughs> yeah. The what I'm telling you though is like you just need to like it's going to be uncomfortable for like one week and then you'll be mm-hmm. used to it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's mm-hmm. just the reality. Yeah, no, really you're saying. Even if I stay up a little later, I still I'm still 8:30 is the latest it could possibly be. And yeah. that's like that's not that's not very usual. Yeah. I and mean, that's like a yeah. that's like a Sunday. Yeah. And it's just you just get used to it and then you yeah. never think about it again and it's not like a big thing. You know what I mean? It's just it's one week of being like, "Oh, I'm a little tired." And then your body just like acclimates. Yeah, I just got to commit to it. You know what? Maybe tomorrow. Let's see. I'm. I'm we'll see. I'm, I'm pushing. It to be I, I, I. I am. I do want to be up and outside more. That's the key. So that's why I was like, the blades would be nice. I'm, why don't you go out I'm there? I'm thinking and just... about a bike again here and there, but bikes. Here's the thing. Why don't you just get up and go outside and start stretching? Like do a little yeah. yoga in the morning. Yeah. Doesn't need to be anything official. We have a nice a little mat. patio. You just get out there and just do some stretches. There's a guy that's behind me every single morning. He's out there in the sun just doing a little very light body weight a lot of stretching and i'm like yeah that's the move no he probably feels good probably feels good yeah there you go start with that and then you ramp up to the just pop it in a gym plus we're coming up on summer you can just i know you say you don't like hiking but like it's just getting it's just an easy way to be outside like you're Mm -hmm. saying Mm -hmm. and then you get in a nice little workout without having to do anything where you like tear your shit up Mm -hmm. get a little sun you're all good to go yeah no you're right you're right. You put on 15 pounds of sunscreen, I imagine. You get out there in the sun. <laughs> Do you burn? Yeah, you I burn. Must. I burn yeah, terribly. I terribly. Yeah. Do you remember last year I did that uh, scramble tournament with Coop and the boys? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Half of my face. Yeah. I, I look like Two-Face yeah, because the, the side yeah. of where I was sitting was exposed to the sun on the golf <laughs> yeah, cart. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, buddy, I burn. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you scream a guy who burns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm lucky that I don't, especially with having a shaved head and everything. I really like it. Takes It would take a tremendous amount of exposure. It's your olive I Italian never, skin, I never dude. did it as a kid. I was really darkly complected as a child. Yeah. Like very, but it, and it's gone away, yeah. but I still have a little bit of the all of these stuff but it never i i have it doesn't tan as easy as it used to mm. you know what i'm saying it used to be easy you bopped out and it did you know it was out in the sun for like an hour one day boom i got the yeah. base layer and then it's just i'm darkening up from there and i, look I, used, I used to be but, tanned by this point every year because of tennis we'd start practicing outside the moment you could yeah. and then you know same with you know whatever else sport track baseball yeah so you're not a pickleball guy i would be a There's pickleball like a guy novelty I, to it you played tennis i've never played it well, you played. I never they played it, but I would like. Be. I would yeah. like to do it. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I also want to get into spike ball. I know I'll play spike ball. I love games. Yeah, see, this is, that's this, a trick to get this me outside. This is where we differ. I don't want to do any sort of games. Oh. I just want to go work out and, and mentally wrestle with myself for an hour. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, I don't need to like. I don't want to get competitive <laughs> about it. Oh, uh, I'll. I'll yeah. You you see me take something way too seriously. Put me on a volleyball court. I'll take it way too seriously. Uh, I love you, volleyball. A vast majority of the reason is that competitive brings out a anger in me that <laughs> it's it's because it be especially when it's like a skill set thing where mm-hmm. I'm like I don't really I'm not that interested in being better at this and I can't physically yeah. just push you around until I win so there's no yeah I feel like it doesn't I didn't it's like keeping in a sneeze you yeah, know what I mean? yeah yeah so yeah. it's no good for me yeah yeah um all right well what's going on in the the news let's let's talk some let's go to the news desk. <laughs> All right, I got a little something for you. Okay. Last week, we were able to secure Bobber a hockey jersey from the Bodie release. What do we think about that? We well, saw firsthand. Wasn't really we, set up to... It didn't seem like they were ready to go. I mean, no. even when someone said it was going to get released on their site uh, for like a Nike release, I'm like, oh, Jesus. Like That feels yeah. like that's going to shut their shit down. Because I, I don't know who's doing it. I, I just don't know who's buying the aftermarket sneakers. You know what I mean? I feel like it's just sort of like, a, oh, didn't get them. Never mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not paying $600 for a $100 shoe. Um, just too stupid. It's crazy. At that point, I'll buy a Lemaire shoe. I'll buy a or a Lee shoe. Mm-hmm. There's, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the, I'm, if I'm in that category, I'm not buying a Nike. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I like the shoe a lot. I think it's really good. I wanted the shoes. I wanted the white ones. Yeah, I wanted the black ones. We no, I know. I sorry. I wanted the black ones. It didn't. Yeah. They were both good. I mean, I think that was like a cool shoe. I think that they've somehow been able to maintain uh, relevancy in in most of what they do at this point. I yeah. think that's that's an impressive thing for any sort of new brand because um, I think getting like some relevancy is its own challenge. But then maintaining it and mm-hmm. having a consistent point of view that doesn't feel like oh this again. You know what I mean? Yeah, or or just exploding to something so big that you can't quite grasp what it is anymore, which has happened to a handful of brands. The I last mean, God, years where... yeah, I mean, it's yeah, God bless them. They're 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 doing it. It's it's uh, and and I think the collab overall was really interesting and cool, and the pieces were mm-hmm. great. And 
uh, like I said, they're able to. You you look at it and you say it's Bodie, but you don't go, oh, it's Bodie. I, yeah, I get it. I mean, I know no, it's cool. I love those. So. I love those running pants. You know, like the mm-hmm. active material pants. Yeah, I thought all like the cool. the like uh, like football jerseys and yeah. all that stuff was really cool. Yeah, it's it's, it's cool stuff. I and mean, we didn't needless to say we didn't get the shoes. Um, no, we did get we, Bobby we get, jersey we got, though. We got, so a, that's we got a hockey jersey. Um, it's an interesting thing because Bob said to me because I I get so frustrated because I, I I'm like a catch twenty two on the whole. I mean, we talked about it with him. Uh, about the Hermes stuff. Uh, and it's a little bit of a catch-22 for me because I kind of still feel like... I mean, part of it's Hermes versus Nike are two very, obviously, very different things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I was going to say, and even the application in the product itself, like one is being purchased by dorks to resell at a margin of $150, $200 here and there, unless it you sell it within the week that it announces. Yeah. And the other is from actual rich people well, and you know, there's like I, I don't remember. It's like one person makes each bag front to back. It takes X amount of time. Great. The this story's is all there. Very That's certain cool. Leather, a certain thread, it's certain yeah. you know materials. They and, they are you know. creating exclusivity to maintain the. Uh, the pedigree of, of the brand sure. in the I mean, bag. That, I think that's what you'd argue that Rolex is doing. Sure, for example, which is like cool. They, yeah, it's not. I'm sure that they could get it made in bigger batches, but it's yeah. going to require the quality to go down, hey, and then everyone's going to bitch and moan about the quality. You know let, what I mean? Let's so, pause on Rolex. I want to come back to the Rolex Bodie real quick. But in Discord, we were just talking. Apparently, Rolex will pay for you to come down, take a workshop. Because there's so few watchmakers in the world right now. Mm. And then if you pass this, then you can go and take the full thing and become an accredited Rolex, like it's an employee. Kind of like, I mean, like in the handmade shoe world, I mean, obviously that's a different like mm-hmm. level of money, but they were anytime a young person was in it, they'd pay them double. Like really? any anytime a younger person would get yeah. into it because everyone that's doing it is older, uh, much older. Man. They're going to retire. I mean, I think that, I'm trying to remember, at one point there was, I think they had six people making shoes at one point at the factory and i think that five of them were going were going to be retiring within like two years and the other one was with, within five years so you're like if you're if that's your business you're like shit dude like that's yeah uh, that's my whole yeah. workforce right there and then there's no you know what i mean so man and what a what a cool cool skill to have understanding it fairly well like sure that's really 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 cool and, and watchmaking i think w- i'd love to dabble in just fucking with watches, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But how? What a cool trade. Anyway, I just want I just want to talk about how that was also top of yeah. mind. Of apparently, people aren't making stuff. My my opinion on the Nike version is they have the capacity to make things at a massive level without mm-hmm. with with the quality maintaining. A, I mean, you're already paying $180 for a sneaker that is not $180. You know what I mean? No, and uh, and they're able to do that at a mass level without the quality going yeah. down. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, just make enough. If you think they're cool enough, just make enough that people can buy them. Yeah. You know what I mean? That we're not. I mean, look, it, it's fine. It's one thing if you're paying $250 instead of $180. You know what I mean? Oh, resale. But at this point, you know, the, the numbers don't make any sense. They're just made up. It's all, it, it's the market set by one dipshit who was like, I got them. You know what I mean? For that much money. Mm-hmm. And that's a dumb way to set the market. So then you have to wait a year until they're like back to like a price that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And it's just, it's, it's just silly. You know what I mean? I think it actually kind of in some ways hurts trends from happening at, at a bigger level. I mean, that's what happened with like, you used to not be able to get when, you know, Sambas was the thing you couldn't mm-hmm. you couldn't find normal ones you couldn't find Birkenstock for a little while mm-hmm. you know because they just got the taupe, too popular Boston's, yeah. couldn't buy them anywhere and that's one thing if it's just like the trend has gotten to a level where everyone's sold out that benefits everybody um, I also think that there's sometimes the thing that's about, that drives me nuts about the sneaker thing and this is actually uh, an old Kanye thing that he never did but I I was pro the 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 lines of thinking about if it's cool enough then you can make as many as you want and it doesn't die. I mean, this, the point being made there was iPhone is, everybody has pretty much the same thing. They all look identical. I don't know the difference at this point between a four and a nine or a 12 There's or a 15 many, or whatever yeah. they're at. But we all got They them. all look the same. And that's still the coolest phone to have. No question. Sorry to everyone that doesn't have that one, but that is the coolest phone that you can have realistically. Yeah. So, you know, if it's cool enough and if it's relevant enough and it's been made well enough, then that's the thing that's, you know what I mean? So like, I just wish some brands would be like, let's test that. Let's see what that, that trend looks like at a mass level. Let's make enough that people can actually get them. Mm-hmm. And if that, and if that makes the relevancy go down or the coolness level go down, then that's more of an indictment on 
the people buying it, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's sometimes a bummer to see that because then it's like now the only thing you're going to really get is some diffusion version of it that's not as good. And it's yeah. like just make, just make enough that you know, I'm not saying you can't be millions, but like make enough to meet a general demand. Not every single person wants a hundred and eighty dollar like low trainer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like that there is a cap on that. But let's see what that looks like. Not just we made a hundred of each or two hundred of each one or whatever, and we seated ninety percent of them yeah. to the same people over and over and over again. That at this point I'm not that nobody's even looking to as style mavens. You know what I mean? It's just it's gotten to be lazy, I think, at this point. Yeah, there's so, industry plugs. Yeah, which is no one. That's no. That's not me uh, making blows at Bodhi. I'm that making me big, making blows at Nike more than anything else. Of like, I just think I just think a little bit we're past some of this. You know what I'm saying? Like this, yeah. the, it's it, the way it's released and like the you know what I mean? Like the cool factor only being predicated on the that there's only a handful yeah. of made yeah. and they're only in the hands of influencers who don't wear them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I just want to see them out and about. I want to be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know I, I agree. Mean? I just, I just think that's such a bummer to like, it doesn't, you don't allow trends to actually be trends any longer. Yeah. And it used to be like, you know, little black dress, everyone had one, but like, that's why it was still cool. I mean, at what, you know what I mean? That like, see what it looks like to make, to, to make an icon. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So that always kind of bums me out with this sort of stuff. It's not that I don't get it personally because I don't care and I don't need, uh, it's the last thing I need. I was fine um, to not get them. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me, but it is, it, it's more just like, ugh, it's just kind of the same. We're still on this, huh? It's you just know? jumping through the same hoops, playing yeah. the same game all for what? The same story again. Yeah. Let's just let's just make cool stuff and make it trendy. You know what and I mean? If like it's it, cool, it'll yeah. stand on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. That's that's the only thing I miss. Of just just seeing stuff stand on its yeah. own at two feet, and and like seeing like is this actually like a global level trend, or is this just a little bit of hype that will live on a twenty four hour news cycle and then no one gives a shit about it yeah. after this? Yeah. You know what I mean? No one's gonna give a shit now going no. forward. They're just gone, and maybe you see one now and then go, oh, interesting. But that's gonna be about the extent of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what kind of bums me out about that stuff. Yeah. I got a topic for you. This was in the uh, New York Times style section, and I thought maybe we could sort of touch on it or give our two cents on it. And that's look, I'm not, there's no reason to get into like the full article, really. But they were talking about like what it means now to like uh, grow up a little bit in fashion. You know what I mean? What I mean by that is like, how do you like wh- what is what is different between you buying clothes in your 20s and now buying clothes in your 30s like how does the style changed at all cuz it certainly mm-hmm. has to have in some regard like what oh, is it sure. what does it feel like to mature in your style it feels to me the biggest thing would say silhouette that would be the number one thing that has changed for me from I mean, there's getting... been a definite trend s- switch in, yeah. in from in 10 years on that yeah yeah um, I don't know, man. I, I we've talked about it many, many times, but like I'm thinking, I was in college when I started getting into this shit. I was wearing Red Wings. I was wearing raw denim. I was wearing Buffalo check plaid Wallace and Barnes uh, flannel from J Crew that every guy had from that period of time because mm-hmm. it was affordable. Um, I mean, am, am I answer? Is that answering the question? No, I think you know that, what I mean. Like, I mean, look, maybe we kind of put it in because I think it's a little hard for you or I to answer this kind of stuff sometimes because we work in the industry yeah. a little bit more. I mean, I'll say that like I'm I, I'm much more gravitating towards, and I think this is there's a lot of reasons for this, but like I don't care if it's flashy. I just want it to be really nice materials and fit me the way it wants it to fit me. Yeah, that's why like I like Orly. It generally fits me pretty well. Uh, I kind of know the sizing. And I like that I like the types of dyes they use because yeah. they're interesting without being loud. I like that that's pretty much their whole thing is that it's like kind of dressy, kind of casual, somewhere in between. And it's just very like there's no nonsense to it. Yeah. It's more about the materials and how they're dyed or made mm-hmm. that is really the interesting aspect. And that's more for me than anybody else. I, I would agree. I would agree. So it kind of makes it like it is a little bit of maturity in style and that like it's not so there's nothing goofy about it. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm. it, technically, anybody could probably wear it. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? So I can see my, I've seen myself draw, you know, just be a lot more interested in that kind of stuff rather yeah. than being like, there's a name brand on it or it is a name brand in general or that anyone's going to know what this is or yeah. that it was expensive or anything like that. I just don't really care. Yeah. No, so I, I think that's I agree. part of it. I agree. I've t- I, I would say that that hit the nail on the head for me as well then. It's like, I, I do much less experimentation. Not to say that I won't, go out on a limb here and there, sure. but I know what I'm comfortable in and how I want to present myself and what I physically 
feel comfortable with, on my body. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I've just kind of just been replicating that. I mean, at this point, man, I got six green ripstop pair of pants, and I, I don't feel like that silly in any way for me. It's what I like to wear, and so I don't need to fuss about with the other things. You know what I mean? I guess the other way to look at the question or the way I was thinking about it for like somebody listening is like, imagine yourself switching careers mm-hmm, and you have mm-hmm, to go mm-hmm. work in an office. Now, listen, I think that that does not mean you're wearing a shirt and tie. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to wear like dress pants or tucked in, shit, you know, yeah, yeah. Van Heusen shirt or whatever. Yeah. But like it is different now. You know what I mean? But and, and, I, and I still think that you would have to adjust your style. What would that look like? Let's just say that that's a scenario for you. How would you go about that thing? Like, like let's say tomorrow you have to go work in an office. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's still casual, but you gotta, you're gotta you going to have to mix. You can't wear what you're wearing right now to an office. Mm-hmm. Here it makes sense. I mean, and just to be clear, he has a Capitol Bones t-shirt on. Some I, I can't Purple even see it, some sort of fatigues Burke and a North Face hat. And it's yeah. I, I, all that's cool. And it, yeah. here that makes sense because that's what we do. Yeah. Um, but like obviously in an office you would have to switch that. I would probably commit even harder to engineered garments and I would just get myself a ton of Loiters, Bedfords, Ivy jackets, fatigues in matching colors and So you'd or, almost go like suit you'd go suiting. I would go like soft, soft suiting. suiting. Yeah. If if it were if if I were let's say I were like I, I, I if I were I had to go in the office or I was front facing in some way, say like a sales tech sales guy or whatever mm-hmm. you know what i mean because i do fancy uh working on the golf course so to speak where you take rich old guys out to play some golf you know what i mean i can, I can hang with that crowd <laughs> but uh no in terms of like what would what would pique my interest right now that i could do right now that would be acceptable for that world i would totally probably just switch out the whole wardrobe and say all right i'm, I'm all in on eg again and just do a gang of loiters a gang of bedfords in fabrics that i like summer weight winter weight you know, some of the, uh, uh, shoot, why can't I think of it? Not the work shirt, but another one of their button down silhouettes. Century. Yeah. That work well with those. And I would, I probably wouldn't tuck it in shit. You know what I mean? I'd probably still let it be what it is because undoubtedly you go in those offices and it's a guy with branded hoodie from a work event and J crew chinos and some random fucking finish line well, like the, Nike runners. You know what I mean? The office, the quarter zip would yeah, be, yeah, exactly. And the thing is, nothing so I, looks worse in my opinion than quarter zip with like crisp shirt underneath. That is yeah. not, that is not the move for anybody in yeah. my opinion. I Especially just don't if think you're built good. like a frat guy kind of, you know what I, I mean? Like it's not flattering it on a lot of people. Yeah. So, and yeah, but anyway, that's what I would do. Well, I mean, what would I you mean, do? I think you'd be pushing, you might be pushing it a little bit because of the like, silhouettes of those things but mm-hmm. i think that i maybe I wouldn't buy them big what i'm saying is that like casual wise casual office today if you have a suit on but your shirt's untucked but it's kind of like a purposeful thing i think you could get away with it you know what i mean yeah because I, I would have i would carry myself in such a way of like no i'm not in trouble at all <laughs> yeah well i think that like that's what i mean like i think a lot of people are just wearing like you know, like jeans and a tucked in polo or something like that, or, mm-hmm. you know, something, you know, mm-hmm. or something along those lines or like untucked, you know, dress shirt and slacks, yeah. like Lululemon slacks. And I'm yeah, like, exactly. that doesn't look good to me. Yeah. It, 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 like, th- you know what I mean? No, if you put some intentionality into it, I think that's the, that's the differentiator in, in casual wear. You know I what think- I mean? For me, I know what I would do, and I just don't know if it pushes it too much, but this would be my move, I think, because it's like, I always think that there's a certain level of balance where if you go low on one side but high on the other, you can always, it always balances mm-hmm, out. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like I would go my classic Gucci loafers, get a couple colors of those. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones I feel comfortable in. I know that those are good in an office, and they're still like stylish. People know yeah. what they are without yeah. them being loud because they're kind of like an icon. Um, I go wash jeans. And I'll have them nice. Interesting. You know what I mean? And then I go tucked in t-shirt and like a La Mer blazer. You know, I'm so really like flowy yeah. blazer. So I, I feel like that look is enough that it, you get be, away with it. It's, a, I mean? it's an intelligent look. Yeah. You get a, yeah. you get nice glasses and nice watch yeah. and you just keep doing that look over and over in different colors. The glasses are probably key here. You can't really, I think it's dressed up enough, but it's still like, you know, I'm still fucking cool yeah you know what i mean i'm not a dork (laughs) yeah yeah i feel like i can make that work yeah no i agree that'd probably be it i mean a lot of guys that go in the office could learn from that just like guys just just find something and make it yours just don't dress like the guy next to you yeah because it's just it well you know what it is and i think it's actually the the downfall has been what you just said which is like golf wear in an office it's like that's not 
those are two different things. No, you're absolutely right. You know I mean, you're you you you're absolutely right. I think a lot of dudes who don't dress themselves, which is fine. You, I don't think everybody needs to exist in this world. If no. this isn't something that makes you feel good, then fuck it. There's no need for you to participate. That's but you fine. should. I think that people do benefit from like just think about what looking cool to do, you. Yeah, but do you have, like, have you know some I mean? like, sort of thought around it? You yeah. don't need to come and shop at Canoe Club. Or, or, the main but, thing is the skinny pants got to stop. Any skinny pain, pants with no the Cole with Haan with the lunar lawn. Kind of, like Bad. that is a, just a. It's not a good look for Bad. anybody. I don't care how you're built. It's no, not but wait, anything. but wait. I got funny socks on. They got unicorns <laughs> with cotton candy on it. So it's funny. Funny. My wife got me these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that like. Golf in the office is crazy though. No, I think every. Well, you know, even worse is like the, you know, they put the Vejas on with the, or ve, you know, the, what, you know what I'm talking about? Those nasty shoes. No. Uh, it's like those with the. You know they got oh, like the I, V on them. Yeah, you know what I'm I know talking about. about. They yes, look like yes, they yes, look like Stan Smiths. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like no, that's buy not Stan it. Smith. Like that's not a way to. They actually, don't buy a Stan Smith. Yeah, Common Projects led the led the charge on this, and they went, "We can do it cheaper." And then people were like, "Great, that's See, a cool look for me." Now that's a problem. I actually miss Common Projects. I still have I'm a pair. I'm fine with that. I, I got them in care. the. I got the Court Lowe's or something. I got them from my buddy Ross. Thank you, buddy. You um, know, but what made those great was that they weren't puffy. White just sneakers. regular fucking they shoes. were very like low profile yeah. and like looked like you could dress them up i'm yeah. a little the, maybe just not the white ones over and over but like yeah but you know what i'm saying like i'm with you I, there, there was, I, you have to pay for that look yeah yeah you can't just you can't do the vejas you can't do a stan smith in an office yeah. to me get the common not. projects yeah i actually still support it i still wear mine in fact i'm going on i'm i'm we were coop and i were gonna golf yesterday it's fucking snowed we're gonna golf this saturday and then i got my palm springs trip when is that, Rondo? That is not next weekend, but two weeks from now. So that's, that's my golf shoe, Common Projects, little court lows. You don't have to have, don't you have to have like certain shoes? I actually never got into golfing in golf spikes. I mean, I don't know what it's, any of this is. Uh, the, it's basically like, they're just little, you know what it looks like, Rondo? Is it looks like the spikes are more like uh, if you, like a, like a glass bottle of Coke, you pop the can, you know how it has the ridges? Imagine if you just screwed those up into the bottom of the shoe. That's what it looks okay, like. So There's hardly anything. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, and actually, in the summer, I like to golf barefoot. I feel like I can balance. A, a point being, that's what I that's what I play. I don't have any else like, at, like a nice Palm Springs <laughs> with the, without shoes on. Oh man, I'm I'm so excited though. I'm so excited. Well, that's exciting. Coops, uh, Rye was saying it's gonna be like 110, man. I'm gonna have to find something to do. You're gonna need one of those big straw hats. Yeah, with like, like the, I think with like I think like what Bill like what Bill Murray is wearing in the beginning of Space Jam. Yeah, um, that's what I need. Yeah, you need the like a full veil. It has the robe. It's it's a headband that then has something sticking up the back like a little bar, and then has what mm-hmm. looks like the little cute thing in a Hawaiian drink. You know, like mm-hmm. a tiki tiki mm-hmm. bar drink type thing. Yeah. Sick. You need something like that. Yeah. For your powder skin. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that about covers it. Yep. I don't know if we really answered that question, but it was just an interesting thing where I'm like, I don't know what that means anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, because it's, it's just so different, and yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe the things that we're saying aren't even really like what it's popping anymore at an office. I don't understand what people are doing, but... You nailed I, it. It's golf wear. I just feel like it's like, it it, it, it should... I, I do wish you, when you thought about like office people, I'd almost rather it just be like the old version of suits. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Where it's just like... There's like a monotony to it, but like everyone's at a, a similar similar level. Mm-hmm. I don't think anyone should be trusting each other's tastes Mm-mm. in that scenario. You know what I mean? Like I it's, agree. It's all, I think even what we're describing is like what we would wear. I think are are like I don't want to say advanced moves, but slightly. You really need to balance out the things that we're saying to make those two things work. Yeah, because I I hear what you're saying, and if done right, totally on board. If too sloppy or not tailored you're trying to like roll those pants or something like that no 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 now now we're into like it's a little too messy no you yeah that's true you You probably would want to tailor it you would want to tailor it you can't have a uniqlo jacket with the beat jeans like that's not gonna that's not gonna cover it but even now it's like what's the point in spending all that money when again fellas wearing golf shit next to you nobody cares nobody cares nobody cares they know they know who's they know i think that's the thing when you got a gang of people they know who's doing it yeah cool and who's not you know what i mean and now, now you're. I mean, that's the other thing. That should be your whole reason for doing it. If that's the whole vibe at the office, because now you come in, you're like, oh, he's. I mean, he's fucking. Cool. He's the yeah. cool guy. You know what I mean? Like he's. You know, you, there's a. You're, you're treated differently. Yeah. No question. No yeah. question. 
Now they might try to dismiss you as cool guy because they're insecure, but you just kind of throw that back at them. That's super easy, and then yeah. you're, and then you're in charge because they look stupid. Yeah. So easy. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a there's a it's like a maturity thing. I think that's kind of what we're talking about. Is like there's a level of maturity and like hey, I spent the time to understand this stuff so that you know yeah th- so so that I can I can play at this level and. You know what I mean? Like that's if you go to an office that's at a higher level, you're either going higher level suiting or people are doing more sophisticated, nicer clothing. You know, so if you want to play, if you want to grow, like that's what you want to do. You want to play at the lowest level. I do wonder what like a nice office, a, a nice office in New York looks like, where where Probably the staff Zara, takes Zara it shoots, fucking Zara suits seriously, yeah. Zania, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get into it. So we're doing, uh, we're gonna do a the kind of a new little thing here Mm -hmm. this is actually kind of stolen from uh anybody who used to read well spent i used to love this article they would do shout out nick grant shout out our boy forget brad's last name bennett i think i think he was the editor um come on the pod if you listen to this uh they used to do a thing called like instead of rent i Mm -hmm. think that which i think was technically something that gq did from a while before i'm probably mixing up all these sure references but Basically, you just go, hey, if I didn't have to pay rent and I could put it all towards fun stuff, what would I what would I do? Yep, yep. And I always liked this this like line of thinking because mm-hmm. um, then you can, guys can kind of hear like the, what we're thinking about, yeah. like you know it, what we're interested in right yeah. now. So why don't you why don't you kick us off? Uh, for me, so it'd be, so we're saying we're playing with around. We didn't like put numbers to this, yeah. but you're playing with like around a twelve hundred dollar, yeah, like any in sort that of like. Realm. You know, relatively normal towns. You, you spend you know, more rent. or less, but yeah. it's in that sure, room sure, sure. when it's all said and done. Um, I well, it's it's absolutely gorgeous out today. It's mid seventies. I would look at it if if I were going to go on a shopping spree today with my rent money. I I do like kind of a closet reset more or less. I'd probably get a gang of the Rototos. I think the Rototos are so nice. Mm-hmm. So I'd Which probably ones? toss. Uh, I want the three packs. Mm. I would do a three pack white, gray, browns, and beige. I think that's right. Yeah, I believe there was four. Yep. Um. I would reset my socks. I'd probably get a gang of the Athens tee from Lady White. Nice and lightweight. I like the collar. Go under all my jackets. Um, summer weight fatigues from Orslo. Catch balls. I have those white catch ball slip-ons in my office. I want to cop those today. Um, depending on where that would bring me, then a, then a splash out piece. There's actually a TSS jacket I'm, I'm thinking of trying on when it comes. Okay. So that's not necessarily in, but I, in, in the store it's to coming. buy at this moment, but it's on the way. And then also, um, this will serve as a shout out for something coming later, but we also have Beams Plus here coming here shortly. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a gang of those Beams Plus version of the Patagonia baggies. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get a couple of those. Okay. Um, that that's I would look at it as like let let's just reset my spring shit, you know. Basically, you're resetting all of your like summer basics. Mm-hmm, exactly, because you really got to start. People got to start thinking that there's like there's fall basics and there's summer basics. Like that's how really, I look yeah. at it. That's you know how I mean? that's how I do it too. And I would say I would say almost all of my wardrobe that is not explicitly a coat is eleven months out of the year. You know what I mean? Yeah. But there are some days where it's like it's too damn hot. I just need a pair of shorts and a light and a lightweight t-shirt. I cannot do more. As much as it kills me. I I love to have long sleeves on, but actually in that case too, I would cop one of those EG work shirts. Mm. The the, the, the most like recent. Ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, those are kind of overlooked this season, yeah. I think. Yeah. Spaceman's been wearing his. I just got yeah. dinner with him and him and his better half I think this it, weekend. It really I actually think they look so much better cuz they like don't get really they don't really get wrinkly. They have mm-hmm. a really nice drape to them. Good you still get that work shirt look. And to be honest with you, you take them into the fall and you can wear them as like underneath things. Yeah, they yeah, it, it serves a purpose for summer in that it's lightweight. You can wear it all year though. Just put yeah. it under a jacket, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that um like 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 for example, I feel like every single season, because I look at everything as seasons, mm-hmm. uh, because it's how we how I work, so it's just how I think about things. Um, but I'll do like fresh set of socks, so at least seven pairs of whatever like I like like that like that one tinge off of pure white yep. socks. I'll do like seven pairs of those. Got freshies, seven pairs of the the Lululemon Lulu's. boxer briefs. And Real quick, do, have you cycled out of those yet, or are you still rocking them? I'm on to my like third or fourth run of them. And I you've thrown away your old ones already. I haven't needed to, honestly. There's only been, that's like, what I was going to say. One or like, two pairs have gotten like a little hole or a yeah, little, same. Like, you know, old. But largely, them, but they're brand yeah. new still. Yeah, still After a wash, shape. they yeah. feel brand new. Mm-hmm. So okay. Anyway, uh, then I do 
in the summer I do like I try I, I try, like a t-shirt I like that's like a little bit like more cropped and lightweight and then in the fall I just do pretty much the same thing but a long sleeve version of it and I'll get like five of those mm-hmm. you know what I mean I get like three white ones one off white and an off black you know what I mean that's yeah, all beautiful. I need if I have those and then I can I keep them in good shape and I wash them and hang them and do my whole thing then that's that's kind of like and then I'll just bring them out. You know what I mean? Like when it's small, I just fold them up, put them in a different spot and leave the t-shirts be the ones. And then once you have that like basics level down, then you don't have to think about that stuff anymore. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I I know you can budget for it. You can just be like, this is how much I need to reset myself. Nothing feels better than getting fresh pairs of socks. Like I love it. You've got like two or three weeks of just feeling great. Yeah. And same thing with t-shirts and all that. So like all of that stuff will make all of your older, like splashier pieces look better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like there's just, you've breathed new life into them a little bit. Yeah. So that, that I do get that. And I actually don't think I need it right now because I already did it. So I'm not, that's not really where my head's at. But I am starting here with kind of in a similar vein though. Because I do like, I like the washi from Rotoda. They're really nice. I just dude. the color palette's great. Mm-hmm, and I and mm-hmm. I already have my reset of white. So I was thinking, oh that's nice to have a couple like colors in there yeah. that still work for the um the summer. Yeah. Texturally they feel like a coddle piece, dude. Like those yeah. are those socks are They've so nice. A lot of interesting texture yeah. to them. And I, I like I said I really love the color palette of those. And those I, I I sometimes in the summer will do some color socks just because I'm not really wearing too much. I don't really like wearing more than like three things if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Like a T-shirt, pants jacket, yeah. shirt, and or a light jacket and jeans or light pants of some kind. Yeah. Um, so it's like it's like kind of feels more acceptable to put a color into place there. Yeah, I you got know you. What I mean, and I'm not like a tie dye guy, but those tie dye ones are even really cool, especially for like if you have Birkenstocks and mm-hmm, I think that's mm-hmm. a really cool look. Um, so I'd go. I I do. I would like those. Um, I need to re up on. I don't really need this because uh, I just talked about how I don't need it. But I I would probably get a pair of 990 V4s because we've got yeah, them and yeah. they some are available periodically, but not usually only like once, maybe twice a year. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind having a gray sneaker that like maybe I'm even keeping on ice until fall or, mm-hmm, or like mm-hmm, early, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, because I have a pair of 574s, but I've put in the work on them a little yeah. bit, so it'd be nice to have like a fresh pair of like plain gray shoes that yeah. I can go to a few times and then get them ready for fall. Yeah. So I would like those. So that is kind of like re-upping a basic. Yeah, of course. Extensively, if I have like three canvas shoes and then three Birkenstocks and then three gray sneakers, that's my dream setup. I'm with you. You know what I mean? I mean, we're literally, we're wearing the exact same thing at this point. We got Birkenstocks on today. Yeah. We're likely both going to wear Birkenstocks or Vans tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's really. It's just the summer. It's yeah. the summer thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really love, this is a little bit of like a splash piece, but I've been trying to invest in some shirting because it's just really what I mm-hmm. didn't have much of. Like I have plenty of jackets, have plenty of sweaters, have mm-hmm. plenty of this, that. I just didn't have much shirts and I've been like more into wearing those, especially in the summer of just having like really casual, nice light shirts that you just throw over a t-shirt and yep. kind of finishes the outfit. You know what I mean? But you don't, you're not wearing too much and no, I can I take gotcha. it on and off and you know, it's, it's nice that way. I really love that Bardo silk shirt. The black one? Mm-hmm. I've never had a, like a silk shirt. It's kind of like an off black. It almost reads brown in yeah, certain light. Yeah. Um, and I kind of liked that for like a summer option of just like doing with like jeans and a white tee and some jeans sneakers. white tee. Shorts and a white tee would be cool. Yeah. Like the uh, Patagonia mm-hmm. or something. You know what I mean? Just like, having something like flowy over a t-shirt really has been agreeing with me lately. And I, I, I really like the texture and the mm-hmm, shape mm-hmm. of that one. Yeah. Hardly has any weight to it. You'd be yeah. fine in the summer. So I really love that piece. Um... The other one that I really love, and it was we were trying it on for a customer who was very interested in it, and I, I guess I just thought it fit differently. I already I already loved it, but I thought it would fit a little different, so I wasn't sure how I would work it into how I dress. But that wrinkled Oralee sweater is just still uh, sticking with yeah, me. Yeah, when I tossed it on, I was like, oh, Ooh, damn, this changes cropped, the game completely. A little boxy. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like form fitting, but the way it draped and laid is just so cool. And I've just I keep thinking about it. Yeah. So let us I know, know what I you think might... of those, Jared. Oh yeah, yeah. I sure. know you're listening. <laughs> Dr. Scharf. I, I like, a, I don't know. I've been really, I, I've been thinking about that one a yeah. lot lately. So I might, I might need to pull the trigger on that for the summer. Cause it's so light. Too. Yeah. Let's have you toss it on today. Yeah. So maybe, we'll maybe I do lunch. that one too. Um, so I think that would be, I think that the Bardo and the Oralee are going to eat up a large portion of yeah. my budget there. Yeah, you um, do a little but, reset. But then, you know, a couple basics. So that's, I think that's what I would be. That's what I would be doing with my mm-hmm. time and money. Is there anything we've had this season that is now gone that you felt like you slept on and missed? Ooh, let's see. Um, I don't feel like I had as many like 
things get away. Oh, you know what? The main one for me, actually, the Orslo painter pan mm -hmm. in white, the off white yeah, color. Yeah. I really wanted those, and I just thought we had plenty. And I like went to like try a pair on one day. I wasn't even gonna try it on. I know what size I am. I was mm -hmm. like, I'm, just, I'm gonna grab this <laughs> yeah. today. And I walked over. I'm like, we have one size left. How the hell? Yeah. So really bummed about those because those were like the perfect texture. I love that fit because I wear the denim ones a yeah. lot. So very bummed about that. Yeah. What about you? Uh, it's gonna be silly, but it's something we get every single season. The chambray shirt from EG, the work shirt, just the standard the lightweight chambray. We're out of it. Oh yeah, it was it was the part yeah. of the first shipment. Oh, I don't okay. want the, I don't want the the gauzy one. I want that one in particular. I like that gauzy one. But I do, I do I too, but it, I want yeah. that one. And I I just felt oh, it'll come. And back. then it then it, but then it sold, so we'll see. But you know what? I, I just got my wheel spinning. You said the white painters. I've never had a white pair of pants, my boy. Really? Yeah. That seems strange. Or I had a pair. I got uh I got one shot sign painter enamel on it. The first day I wore them, I had like wore them mm. when I first moved here. And I stopped by a client to wipe down the windows, and I bent down, and my knee touched it, and just it was done in instant. But anyway, I'm I'm gonna think about it. I might do this. I could still do the summer weight fatigues in, in off white. So I could. Still That's what I was thinking. Those yeah. napped, those napped mm -hmm. crew ones. I just I don't necessarily love the stark white ones. The stark white fatigues, not for me. I want them to have some sort of texture, those, some sort the of nice cream thing look. Is, I hear what you're saying, and I, I would agree naturally on like what I would buy right away. At the same time, the fatigue material in the, in the starker white ones is going to like rough up more as you wear it, and I think it will like naturally age in a mm -hmm. really cool way that will probably be – they're a little more rugged too. So you could wear those into the, like the winter. Sure. You know what I mean? As like a winter white and like have broken them in really nicely at that point. And I think yeah. even, you know, you know how the fatigues are like one or two washes. It's like a totally different material. Yeah. So I wonder if those ultimately would be really great over time. If you liked that, like yeah. look or yeah. fit yeah. better. Yeah. I, don't toss know. I, might, them on. I might go for it. I, that is the one piece that I really regret yeah. not getting though. Yeah. I think it'll come back. Yeah. Might, it might yeah, need it a will. year. It will. Though, it will. So bummer. Yeah. I feel like there was another jacket from them too that I also slept on, but I can't remember what it is. Well, hey, we have that that denim work shirt ish with the two pockets that you were thinking yeah, about. Yeah, the thing is, remember when I asked you about it and I showed you the one in the in the rack? I said this one because I thought I tried that on. You were like, yeah, and I was like, no, 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 I don't. And then I was online merching on the on the website, and I was like, no, this there is a different shirt. I knew the one you tried oh, on was different than the one I pointed at. So I'm gonna I'll, I'll go look I'll go look for it today. Okay. And see if yeah. I, see what it's like. As long as it's not too long. I mean, I think that's right up your alley, dude. Good to go, yeah. Yeah. It's like a like a polo denim shirt. Yeah, like you know the, what I mean? yeah, the old ones. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I used to have this great one that had like rivets and like the had like a big open pocket on one side and a flat oh, pocket on the other. And it was really thick but worn in. It was a great piece. And I, uh, coming off the CTA, yeah. it was like packed. And like I stepped, I stepped out kind of fast to get through. And like there's some, some kind of piece of metal or something that just shredded the like the Jesus, armhole bro. You know on what the I mean? door or like something it. I yeah like, damn it so i've never been able to find another one well, yeah. i'm sure they're out there but i didn't look that hard yeah yeah but bummer yeah well what else He's brother easy go all right well let's um let's start to wrap it up what do we um we got some good deliveries in now yes. but also some stuff hitting this week and then a bunch for the week after yeah so, so sitting sitting over by our door right now we have handful uh, Two or three boxes from Document. That'll be the whole Document shipment for spring, summer. So a little nice. late on our part. Apologies, but it is here now. It'll be online shortly. Um, we have the remainder of Story MFG also sitting over by the door. So that'll mm -hmm. that'll be online here shortly as well. You know, I've been really if, thinking about two. I don't think it's in this shipment, but I really want one of those little Type Two things they do. They might. It might be in this shipment, oh, and I think there might be some more shorts in this shipment maybe too. I, I know there's shorts in there. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Stories, stories are gonna be fun. I'm excited for that. We got Fortella coming later this week. We have uh, other things down the pipeline. Beams Plus, which will be the remainder. Mm -hmm. Like I said, those shorts and stuff. A lot, a lot of the more summery stuff I think is in this. Yeah, a lot of shipment. pants and yeah. stuff. I think there's still a few more like polos and things like that. We've got Beams Japan also ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, had a stellar first season with that. I, I'm so excited to get this Just in. Waiting on a like one or two pieces to finish. So yep. it might end up being more like mid-May. I'm not sure we're working on it. it it'll hey. soon, though. All good. We got those kendamas soon, soon. in it. I I got a new hobby now, bro. You're going to hear little... me click-clacking around with that kendama all around. 
uh, it's going to get confiscated at work. <laughs> uh, the, I am going to get in trouble, I know. The, uh, it's got all those little keychains and stuff that people yeah. those sold out almost instantaneously. Mm-hmm. So those will be a back. Um, yeah, some so some restock, some new stuff. Really, yep. Yeah. I know people have been asked There's about the watches a lot. There'll be more of those. Thing. Oh, VizVim. Yep. We yep. got a lot of Viz coming. We've got reed diffusers. We have candles. Oh, yeah. so we have like scent. Two elements to this. So they're relaunching the scent stuff. Yeah. Um, so there's some new scents. There's some ones that maybe you're familiar with, maybe you're not. Um, so that's like a broader release for the first yep. time. So that's an aspect of what's shipping. So some candles, yep. reed diffusers, uh, personal scent. Yep. There's, uh, I know there's some AM pluses in there, I believe, some kind of hoodies. And I then believe there's, there's hoodies. I, I know there's shoes. There's the loafers. And there, there's the, more Seegers and Skagways. Mm-hmm. There's uh, Christos in there. Christos are also in there. Yeah, um, yeah. And then yeah, a couple other like jackets. Yeah, a couple of one twos. Yeah, some yeah. stuff like that. So that's a good show. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, what else? I feel like there's something else in you there. just approved. Oh, oh, TSS, TSS, that was TSS. The last so thing their wanted, shipment yeah. for spring will be here soon. Yeah, and like then, I said, really nice, like true fl- French blue jacket, like a very mm. vibrant blue, and that's. Michelle has a jacket that I wish I could fit. It's kind of going to tick that box for me, so we'll see. Yeah, and then I think after that, we're still looking at um, there's some capital that will come soon, and I think there's something else I'm missing. But, yeah, and then we're going to try to do some restocks and stuff like that, so keep mm-hmm. an eye out. If mm-hmm. there's been things you've been waiting on that are more like core products, we're, we're waiting on some of that. Yeah. So, yeah, so a lot coming in, a lot, lot yep. going on. So this this one will be – we'll have a week. Oh, and then we got Flea Tea that launched this week for sure. Everything that he just mentioned that's at our door, and uh, there's another one. Oh, some more Samuel Zelig, like, like another oh, yep. shipment from yeah. Yeah, they're shooting that on a model right now. So, yeah. so really good stuff. So, lastly, there's that. one more thing that I wanted to shout out. Uh, you and I have not talked about it individually, but I'm very happy to report that yesterday we got season two of Bobby Durst the Jinx. Have you started it? No, bro, it's out. Didn't even realize. I, doing, knew, I knew they were doing that. I didn't know it was out though. Yeah. It's 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 unfortunately it's HBO, so it's episode per week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will say instead of it being thirty up thirty minutes, they're closer to like 50, 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um for anybody out there that has not watched the Jinx season one on HBO, go watch it right now and then it's immediately like, watch it's two. It's like one of the most entertaining documentaries of all time. I, if you like true crime even a if little, you, like you are in for trial, a treat. You're gonna yeah. love this. So it's really, really, really good. There's a lot of stuff that they're showing in this season two that you didn't even know, like in terms of the timing. But anyway, I, without spoiling anything, I want you to watch it because we got to talk about it. Because man, there is that dude is what a character. He's the most entertaining what? serial killer of all time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Trump. So anyway, I wanted to touch touch base on that specifically, but. Okay, we got that. I'm gonna probably finish that dumb show you made me watch, or you didn't three body watch. problem. No, I'm not watching that ever. Oh. The Silo show. Oh, yeah. He doesn't like Silo. Real quick. You know what? The first two episodes were interesting. Mm-hmm. The entire middle could have been left out with n- no, you wouldn't have missed a thing. And then you could probably watch the last episode, I'm guessing. Otherwise, they don't wrap anything up. They're spinning their gears. But the thing is, is and this is where you and I differ, is like, I feel so invested in the world that I have to know more. I, ha- I just have to. I it's, need to know more about the lore. That's the, where I'm at. For me, it's just like it could have been a movie and it would have been a good movie. Mm-hmm. But instead, it's a really long show where there's a lot of like, well, we're going to go upstairs and then go downstairs and then go to my apartment and then your apartment and then we're going to ask questions, but we're not going to get answers. Yeah. And just yeah. back and forth yeah. and back and forth. And there's a lot of stuff that I want, uh, they touched pe- on that they're like not going to show. TV. That's why Law and Order exists. That's why yeah. all this stuff, go, you know, ER, uh, what's that Grey's. show? Grace, yeah. The, <laughs> Grace. That, like that show's been going, people like the procedural yeah. element. I get it. Yeah. It just drives me, it feels like a waste of time to me. Yeah. Where, it's, where I'm just like, I don't, you guys think this is way more interesting than yeah. it is. Yeah, So. I'll finish that though. Finally, yeah, finish that. I will say three body problem. Where I was arguing for it last week, <laughs> I might feel less strongly. The acting it pro is unreal. It's un- it's the worst. I don't it's care about the worst that. writing or worst acting of all time. I don't care about that. That's neither here nor there for me. I they had me hooked on all the weird the world they built, but man, I really feel like what the fuck. What it's the fuck? Be last two more, episodes. I, you cannot like acting or care about that if you want to. In the same way that like I'll write off a show because I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I, I'm fine with that. Yeah. But it's like at the same time, it's like it, there has to be more. It, it can't just be like uh, an interesting premise. I was, I was, and just to be clear, before anyone started talking about the show, I, 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 there, I think that was, was a on book your radar. Or something, yeah. And somebody put it on my radar, like, oh, you got to check this out. It's a really interesting. Did story you read line. the book? No. Oh, okay. But um, 
I was like, I was like, oh, this sounds really interesting. I'll, mm-hmm. I had this on my watch list forever. I was, I was hyped. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then I couldn't get, I didn't get 20 minutes in where I was like, absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely. I cannot yeah. handle this level of. It was fine. Yeah. Also, uh, in terms of books, I'm still reading that book, bro. Happy to, happy to say I have committed to it. I'm now almost 200 pages in and I'm fucking loving it. We got to tell them about what happened in the airport when you were telling me about that book. Wait. <laughs> when you <laughs> had the movies mixed up. <laughs> oh yeah, so so I'm reading Project Hail Mary. Um, it's the same the same author wrote The Martian, which The Martian is a movie that has Matt Damon in it. And <laughs> I was explaining to Timbo like, yeah, you wrote that movie. It's like this and that. Long story short, the movie I was describing was actually Interstellar. Well, well here's what he did. He's like, yeah, man, it's like you you know that movie where he like goes to different planets and like on one planet like the time is he's aging less than the people on Earth, and then he goes to the other one and like. He's in the middle. You don't realize until later on that he's actually in the middle of like the ocean and there's a huge wave. And I was like, hold on, hold on. That's not the Martian. That's Interstellar. That's a whole different movie. You're like, no, 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 the Martian. I'm like, no, no, because yeah. you had said he's on this planet with the, o- the ocean or whatever. I was like, yeah, yeah, you're talking about Interstellar. You're like, no, 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 it's the Martian. Because what you don't know is that that's actually, and I was like, it's a big wave. And he's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. But so anyway, uh, you love Interstellar, but you're also reading a book I, about I, the Martian. I liked Interstellar. I didn't love The Martian as a movie, if I were to say an anecdotally in my memory. But man, this book, it has me hooked. Hooked. I, I would like for you to read it when I'm done. I'll bring it to you. You, you like sci-fi. What? I will read it as soon as you read any of the books I've brought you. Well, the, the next thing on my list is I'm going to f- start and finish uh the metamorphosis prime of intellect. prime intellect yeah. that i is... thought you'd like that because there's like well I, I do like it and then i i i've gotten into it and then i just forget dude i just forget that i'm reading a book because it's not oh, something i'm not I and do. i'm not you sitting over I mean? here being like i'm reading a ton of books oh yeah i'm yeah. not abby reads like that's mostly what she does yeah but um oh not me it's it used to be a thing i went through a heavy phase i was reading a ton but i haven't read a lot lately yeah well i'll bring this in for you to read I, i'm really enjoying it and they are turning it into a movie and um we could talk about it when that time comes, but the, the the person that is the lead I thought was really interesting. I actually, this is gonna it doesn't matter to you, you but maybe about the our character? listeners. You talking about like who they chose? Who, who they chose to be the actor? Oh. Is right is Gosling. That's what Coop said. I haven't verified this, but he's Gosling. But I actually think well, it's, I think going off of what Coop says is he's like Deadline. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say. You don't know the character, but it's like, I don't know. Is, is it just because Gosling is the biggest guy on the planet right now and that's how it worked out? Because I actually thought someone like a Jason Bateman would be a good a good. That's a very different movie. That is not right, – right away I'm like, oh, I don't need to see that movie. The main character is like kind of like a witty, kind of jaded physicist who turned high school science teacher – Gosling's played a teacher well before in Half Nelson. He is he is good at having like a funny undertone to him. I just don't think this guy would be like, and not to say that Bateman Bateman isn't a handsome fella, but well, I don't envision Jason, this guy I being. You said Jason Statham. No, Bateman. I was like, oh, ba- no, funny. I'm saying Bateman. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, okay. I, just in terms of a very like this approachable is, this normal is, guy is what I was. That's how I, that's how I envision this fella in my head. This is why people struggle with adaptations. You get something in your head, and then you see it as something else. And you're like, mm-hmm, I don't. That's mm-hmm, not mm-hmm. who I was picturing. You know yeah. what I mean? And then it ruins it for you. Anyway, I'm really stoked on it. When I finish the book, I'll bring it in for you. And then I'll immediately start Metamorphosis of Prime Intellect because I am liking reading. So mm, look at we're going to get these cute little wall sconces for our beds so that we can, you know what I mean? Wow. Turn like a off. hotel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> look, the, the I, I'm happy to see a start to you bettering yourself. We mm-hmm. just get you doing something. We're moving around a little bit more. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get active. But for real, somebody out there has some used blades they want to sell me. Just bang my line. I know. We just got. I, I keep forgetting. I gotta hit up the guy to get, get us some, get us some. Because I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy them full price. Because I'll come down here and whip around they're this not summer. Not expensive. <laughs> yeah, I think that we, we've got it in our head that they're not expensive. <laughs> I'm envisioning be like seven hundred bucks. No. Okay. No, I looked at it. And I was like, oh, the regular price is not expensive. We could just buy these. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I might just buy them. Then fuck it. Yeah. Because I, w- I really would love to get up and just. <laughs> whip around yeah put on a cute little outfit i was gonna say i'd love to see what outfit you chose for that <laughs> okay all right all right let's, uh, let's go get to work all right all right